Hi, I'm trawler specialist Jeff Merrill, and I'd like to introduce you to my good friend, Douglas Cochran. Jeff and I have teamed up to make a series of videos called The Physics of Docking. Episode 8, Backing into a Slip. Hello, I'm Douglas Cochran. In our last segment, we discussed how to back a boat in a straight line. Now we're going to put that skill to work as we learn how to back into a slip. Let's start with why you might want to back in. Depending on the layout of your boat, it may be easier to enter or exit from the stern. Having your cockpit facing the dock can be more sociable. You may prefer to have the view from the pilot house facing outwards. Your shore cord for power may come off the stern. And it is certainly easier to depart your slip if the boat is already facing out. For any or all of these reasons, you may prefer to back into a slip. So let's talk about how this works and we'll show you. Douglas, when you are backed into a slip, there are a number of advantages that I see. One is you have an easier getaway. A lot of times if you're gonna leave on a trip, you're leaving early in the morning and you don't have to think as much. You can just go straight out and take off out of the marina. Reduces the tension level. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, a lot of times that if your shore power connection is backed up, it's a shorter reach for the shore connection. You can be sitting on the back deck and you can socialize with your neighbors. You can be sitting like we are in the pilot house, looking out at the fairway, looking at the marina. A lot, lot of pluses for being backed into a slip. What, what are some of the other things you'd like to remind people about on this? Well, you know what the conditions are when you come into the dock. You don't know what the conditions will be when you go back out. Right. So making it easy to get out is a good idea because it may be howling when you get ready to leave. And so going forward is a lot easier than having to back out, turn the boat and, and leave. Yeah, you can just have a clean getaway. It's much easier if you're, if you're facing, ready to depart. Yep. So what we're gonna talk about in this session, and you'll recall we just covered how to back the boat. Now we're gonna talk about how to back it into a slip. And the key issues are to come in at a slight angle so you're not, you don't accidentally get hard up against the dock and can't get off of it or you end up too far off and can't get up over to the dock. And then how to get lines on and, and uh, get the bow in once you're uh, at the dock. So we'll cover all that in this session. Great, let's do it. All right, so Douglas, we're gonna do a back in now. Uh, we have our fenders over, our dock lines ready. Opened up the wing station if you need to get out there. And we're coming into the slip, which will be on our port side, so we'll swing our bow out to starboard and then back in. So I've put the joystick over to hard to starboard, but I haven't activated it yet. I will when I'm uh, ready to make my pivot here. So I'm gonna slow the boat down a little bit here. We'll put the stern over. Right. Looks like you about 15 feet on the bow. Uh, like, unlike most slips, we don't have any fairway going beyond it, so we've got to make our pivot before we get to our slip. So I'm going to kick the uh, stern over a little bit here. About five feet on the stern. Don't go any further back. One foot on the stern. Two foot off the bow. Your stern has made the turn. Setting up nicely. Now we'll just back into our slip. About one foot off the port side stern. Now at this point, I'm gonna step out to the wing station so I can see where I'm at a little more clearly. All right, so we make sure that the boat is parallel to the dock and now it's a matter of just backing in to the slip, which Douglas is doing from the outside where you can see better. Uh, the wing station has a bow thruster and a stern thruster as well as the throttle. So it's gonna give you a little play-by-play -play here while he's out there bringing us in.
About 10 feet. That's probably far enough. Okay, so we're ready to leave the dock here. We ease forward, forward for just a moment, then we go to neutral. I'll put the uh, joystick over to the left because we're gonna uh, use it to help us steer our way out of here. A lot of people steer with the joystick, but I find it to be uh, too easy to overcorrect with it. So I like to steer with the wheel, but I'll show you a trick that I use with the joystick just to speed things up. You're all clear on both sides. I just checked for you. We'll wait till our stern is clear. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the joystick on follow-up. It's kicked over, so it's running the, the rudder over. At the same time, I'll spin the, the wheel, which moves it over even faster. Stern is clear. When we go into forward, we get a good prop wash pushing our stern around. Then I'll back up a little bit to give us a little more room to work. Now you notice I'm doing everything dead slow. Some people go roaring out and you hear these boats going really fast. That scares the dickens out of me because it tells me that guy doesn't really know what he's doing. He's trying to use power instead of knowledge. Now you can see we're pivoting around nicely. All clear. Now I'm going to put the joystick straightened up and as it straightens up I'm going to put it back on standby so that I'm steering with the wheel. That gives me much better control than the joystick does. And here we are going down the fairway. So Douglas, one of my uh, strategies is to leave the dock lines and the fenders ready to go in case we have to retreat until we've cleared the marina. But when you're ready, I'll go pull up the fenders. Yes, that's an excellent plan, all right. You do want the fenders in before you get out to open seas, but uh, until we're sure that we're out, it's a good idea to leave everything ready to, to uh, abort if need be. Backing your boat into the slip is one of the best skills you can learn, and there are a lot of advantages for it. There's a couple things you need to think about. One of them is, is that if you're outside at the docking station, you have a pretty good view, but if you're in the pilot house or even on the flybridge, you can't really see the distance between where your stern is and where the dock is. So you really want to post somebody back aft. If you have the headsets, you're not shouting, you can communicate. And if you're the person giving the, the distances to the driver, you want to kind of exaggerate. When there's five feet left, you tell them there's two feet left so that they're going to slow down and you, you have to have that good communication. But what else would you add to, to backing into a slip? Well, I prefer it when, when I'm on the helm, I'd prefer to have somebody tell me distances rather than back up, back up, stop. Yeah, yeah right. Go, 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 stop. You know, you know, 10 feet, yeah. 7 feet, 5 feet. Right. Give you That's a right. countdown. If I know where the boat is in re relation to the dock, then I can decide how long it's going to take me to stop the boat, depending on what it's doing drifting around. Because the person on the stern may not be able to see the conditions that the helmsman is dealing with. But I think we, we get disoriented when we're going in reverse, and you can lose track of the, the parallel coming into the dock and where the bow is and where the stern is. So when you're the captain, you've got to look after, you've got to look forward to keep your orientation so that you're, you're making sure you're getting a clean entry into that slip. That's right. And the other important aspect is to make sure you have a spring line ready to put on so that the boat can't drift into the dock further. Once it's stopped, you get a spring line on so it is And that's stopped. your brake and it helps suck the boat into the side that the spring line's on. Good. Yes. Yeah. So pick a nice quiet day with little traffic on the dock and try it out. Invoke the no shouting rule to keep the tension level down and practice until you're comfortable coming in bow first or stern first. In our next episode, we will show you how dock lines help control your boat in a slip. So stay tuned. Hi Trawler fans, thank you for watching the JMYS YouTube video channel. I'm fortunate to be offshore again. If you'd like to subscribe to this channel, 
you click the button below. We also like to publish other listings and other trawler skills videos. You can click on one of those on the side to watch those. Thank you very much for your thumbs up. We love having you watch our videos. We love putting them together for you and hope you come back again soon.